In this video, I'll show you how to download, install, and configure ABG free antivirus. First, we'll go to the free.abg.com website. ABG may change their website from time to time, but generally you can just look for the free download link. And if we scroll down on the next page, you'll see that you have multiple options. You can do the free download. You can do the antivirus 2015 free trial or buy it for $39.99. Or you can do the Internet Security Suite for $54.99. We want to click on the free download link. And this will take you to download.cnet.com to download the antivirus software. And you can click this button to download now. In most cases, you'll see the downloads start to happen on your bottom left-hand corner of your browser. In the event that it doesn't start downloading automatically, you can click this link to make it download for you. Depending on what browser you were using when you downloaded it, it may react differently. When you download with Internet Explorer, it probably prompted to run or save it, and you can just choose run. However, if you're using Chrome, it probably downloaded to your downloads folder, and you'll have to click on it. Or if you downloaded with Firefox, in the top right-hand corner, there will usually be a button to access your downloads. And usually, they're always in your downloads folder. In this case, I'm using Chrome, and it's shown as the download on the bottom. So I'm just going to click on that, and then select to run. And I'll just minimize my browser to make it easier to see. Once the installation starts, you can click Next. We can click Accept for the end user license agreement. And here's one area you want to pay close attention to. Sometimes people select the full protection, but you want to select the antivirus free option for basic protection. There will be a license number already entered for you. And click Next. And I always recommend doing a custom install. Sometimes, depending on where you've downloaded it from and what version you get, it may ask if you want to install some additional software such as the AVG search bar and other components. If it does, always unselect all of those options and just leave the path for the destination set as the default. Click Next. If you're using Microsoft Outlook, I recommend unchecking the email protection boxes. It does, EVG does have some known conflicts with Microsoft Outlook. Otherwise, you can probably leave it checked and be okay with it. If you're using Gmail, Yahoo Mail, or other web-based email, you can uncheck that box because it's not needed. Click Next. And now AVG will download and install the software. The installation will likely take several minutes, so I've skipped over that portion of the video. You can safely ignore these warnings that may pop up as it will update once the installation is finished. At the end of the installation, if you want, you can send anonymous statistics to AVG. I usually uncheck that and then click Finish. Once the installation is finished, the AVG console will open on its own. And it will begin to check for updates. Again, this may take several minutes. Once the updates are downloaded, it will install them automatically. And once it's finished, it will say you are protected and show green check marks on each of the components. Next, we'll want to configure AVG antivirus. So we'll click on the Options button and then click Advanced Settings. And on the Appearance selection, we'll uncheck AVG Advisor Notifications, Boot Time Improvement Notifications, and Statistical Notifications, and click Apply. Then the next thing you want to check are Schedules, and you can expand that, and then click on Scheduled Scan, and make sure Enable This Task is not checked. You do not want to run scheduled scans with any antivirus or malware software in most cases because while those scans are running, it will drag your system down to a crawl and make it run very slowly. So once your system is clean, you're confident that there are no viruses on your system, you simply run the real-time antivirus protection and do not run scheduled scans. Click OK. And now we are fully protected and we can minimize AVG at this time. Down in the system tray, you'll notice the AVG icon. And from time to time, you may get pop-up offers that will suggest that you install trial versions of their software or other components. And you can decline those. 
Here is an example of one of the free offers that will pop up sometimes from ABG. And usually it will say no thanks or sometimes it will say decline. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.